What's up, everybody, and welcome back. Um, so yesterday was a big day if you're a PC gamer, and I like to think of myself as a somewhat of a closet PC gamer. I play, it's kind of hard to see back here, this is the Xbox One X. I play PUBG quite a bit on there, mostly because that's where my friends are. Um, but when I play when I play single-player games, I typically play them on my PC. And that, and that includes PUBG, that includes just many different games. But uh, probably like many of you, if you're watching this video, watched NVIDIA's announcements of their RTX 2080, 2080 Ti, 2070, and all that good stuff. And so I've got, I'm running into an issue here because um, I game at 4K, and I think you guys can probably all see where this is going. Now, I will happily recant or rescind these statements, if you will, if the benchmarks come out and are significantly better. But um, I, I want to read a headline that came out from, let's see, it's from PC Games N, got their hands on, or at least were able to play the new Tomb Raider, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider demo that has ray tracing enabled, and their title is NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti struggles to hit 60 frames per second at 1080p in ray trace version of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, if you watched the demo and you watched everything that was going on, NVIDIA was playing up ray tracing to a very high degree, and it's really cool. I mean, I think we've all probably seen this video here of the dynamic lighting that it can do and the reflections and all that good stuff. And I'm not here to tell you that ray tracing is bad. I, I think it has its value. It definitely adds to the realism of games and can make it a very, uh, a much more immersive environment. And for the right right scenarios, I think that is going to be excellent. I mean, you can just see here in this demo, this looks really, really good. Again, this is a canned demo, so that it's going to look fantastic and all that good stuff. But my point here is that NVIDIA came out saying ray tracing is going to change the way we play games. And here's my problem with that, is that some of the best-selling games right now, Fortnite, um, you can look at games like Dota or CSGO, uh, Minecraft, all these games are not realistic in nature. They are based on performance. What people want, especially with the 2080 series, we're not talking about Titan X, we're not talking about Quadro cards, we're talking about gaming cards. People want frames per second. That's what they want. What we were hoping to get out of this generation of chips is 4K gaming at at least 60 frames per second on high settings with a 2080 Ti. And the early indications are that may not be happening. And if that, if that turns out to be true, I'm gonna be really disappointed in this because if you're like myself, and I bet many of you are, you want higher frames per second. And what's the first thing you're gonna turn off? Probably ray tracing if that's going to hinder the performance of the game. You don't care if the candle reflection from uh, the light from a candle reflection is perfect. What you care about is getting 60 or more frames per second. I think that Nvidia possibly made a huge mistake here and has opened the door to AMD. Uh, because if AMD can come out, and I don't think they should ignore ray tracing, but if they can come out with a gaming card that does 4K gaming at greater than 60 frames per second on high settings, that's going to be a huge, huge win for them. Granted, NVIDIA has been kind of the leading dog in the, in the GPU market, and don't get me wrong, there's definitely markets where ray tracing is going to be preferred, but... For myself, if I could go buy a card tomorrow that would give me 60 frames per second at 4K gaming on all high settings, and again, not melt my computer because it's running so hot, I would choose that card, and I don't care who makes it. I mean, it could come from Home Depot, I would still buy that card. And so right now, I currently use an, uh, a 1080, I don't have a 1080 Ti, I just have a 1080, and it's good, I I'm happy with the performance, but again, I was thinking maybe I can upgrade here. And so the 2080 and 2080 Ti, and I think this is another telling point about this, makes me nervous, is going to go available next month. You can pre-order now. You can get the Founders Edition, which you're going to pay a little bit money more, more for, or my preference. Um, I typically buy EVGA cards, but I know everybody has their own brand that they prefer. Buy whatever makes you happy. I don't really care about that. But the point here is that the 2080 and 2080 Ti are going on sale at the same time. Previously, uh, the, the TI models would go on sale later because they're the ultra extreme performance models and all that good stuff. And so I'm a little nervous here that NVIDIA maybe went down the wrong bent with this stuff. And I'm not saying they're bad cards, but they the hype, I think, the hype train, at least so far, may have gotten ahead of reality. And so I will be anxiously waiting to get my hands on one and uh, to watch the benchmarks come out later, probably next month. And granted, I know someone's going to write in the, the description, and I read all most of the comments, ah, but drivers will improve. You are absolutely right. 
all this is going to be based on driver performance improvements over the next several months. That is great. But you have to remember, you can't start with, you can't turn... <laughs> You can't turn dirt into gold. You have to start with some sort of metal first, right? You have to start with something good and then you can make it a lot better. If we're not starting at a very high point, it, the driver improvement isn't going to you know, change the game here. It's going to make things better and refined and run smoother, but it's not going to give you 100 frames more per second by any means. And so um, I think NVIDIA, they, they played up the ray tracing. The fact that they didn't go all in on benchmarks on the... On the uh, on stage talking about giga rays and all these ray tracing stuff and i i it makes me nervous that's all that i'm, I'm trying to get across here and it, it gives me hope because uh my first computer was an amd and it gives me hope that amd can get back into this game um with threadripper 2 and maybe come out with a kick-ass video card and do it at a lower price point uh, because there's nothing better than having nvidia back on its heels with amd coming along from behind that being said we will wait and see, but I'll be curious to know what your feedback is about the event tomorrow. I just want to kind of talk about this stuff because as of right now, I'm not pre-ordering one because um, I, I need something. Uh, ray tracing to me isn't isn't a reason to go spend a thousand dollars on a graphics card. Um, I don't I can see the benefit. You can you can tell it's good, but. I don't think it's $1,000 good, guys. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, we'll be checking in later this week, and have yourselves a wonderful day.